Hello. Welcome to Plant-Based Large Family. Sorry for the lack of videos, especially the harvest videos. Um, I'll show you in a second why we, why I haven't been giving you harvest videos. Uh, my sweet potatoes look pretty pitiful, but we have had a couple like almost frosts, so still haven't dug those up yet. But you'll see this is the reason why I haven't been giving you harvest videos. Because I'm not harvesting very much anymore. Because every time we finish doing school, they ask to harvest peas <laughs> or strawberries or even raspberries, which they've already done today. So there aren't that many that are ripe right now. Since I'm out here, I'll go ahead and do an update of our uh, zucchini plants and squash plants. Um, this, believe it or not, is actually looking a lot better. It was overrun by aphids and I really wanted to pull it because I just didn't want the aphids to, you know, get infl infiltrate the rest of the garden, but I left it. And uh, the beans aren't looking too good either, but um, it does look like the, the patty pan squash plant is recovering and this one's doing okay. I mean, they're not doing great, but um, that's the reason the um, beans and the soup potatoes don't look like they're doing great is we had a light frost. That's exactly what these are. We just had a light frost and I didn't even know it. Okay. Speaking of Hurricane Matthew, all of our watermelon uh, were in our house and uh, they decided to burst open when we had no power. And so I had the fun time of cleaning up watermelon um, all over a carpet in one room, all in our hardwood floor in, a, um, in another room. So that was fun. Thank you, Hurricane Matthew. But you can see that the, the rain does, did move some of the mulch. It was kind of over, some of these were partially buried. But um, if you live in the eastern part of the state and you do not have mulch in your garden, I'm sure you can attest to the fact that the rest of the gardens were underwater and have not recovered. Um, a lot of the farms are are doing really poorly after the hurricane. Um, but our garden uh, was under the water. Uh, it was underwater for a little bit, and but because of the wood chips, um, it has made a full recovery. So the these carrots are doing great. Since we're out here, I'll show you these as well. Um, again, some more carrots that were planted before the storm. They're doing pretty well, and we're getting some uh, well, we will get some fall broccoli pretty soon, and these were the broccoli that were transplanted, that were planted way over there underneath the, um, underneath the trees, I want to say, uh, I can't remember when, I'll put it up there, maybe early August they were planted underneath there, um, since I can't start any indoors. That worked out really well. This is the first time I've actually ever had fall broccoli. Normally, if it makes it through the winter, I'll get some spring broccoli, but this is the first time I've ever had fall broccoli, so I'm definitely doing that again. This is kind of a weird update, just kind of an everything update. Uh, we're still here update. Um, since I haven't been doing my harvest updates, I wanted to give you some sort of update. But we're here, we survived the storm, and uh, thankfully we did, we did get power back. Some people still are without power, some people are still underwater. Uh, we're not quite that far east. Um, so, so we're thankful that uh, we have power again and we're able to harvest from our, um, from our Back to Eden garden, still enjoying our Back to Eden garden. And, oh, our watermelon are now all in the woods, uh, in a shelter in the woods that the kids made to hopefully keep the raccoon out of them. I uh, just didn't want to clean up any more watermelon in the house. Um, but we're eating those. They're still, most of them are still great. We've probably had a total of four or five that have rotted and we've just thrown those to the chickens. But just wanted to give you a quick update and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.